Hi, so this is the VPIG ODB2 diagnostic scanner and it's the Bluetooth version. This cost about $13 and I'm going to show you where it is in my Honda Element. So I'm going to remove the fuse box panel under my Honda Element and all the way to the right at the bottom here you'll notice there's a little green, gray, brown uh, input. So it, it only goes in one way. I am going to switch it in, I'm going to push it in here and you'll see a light is going to light up and that's instantly going to show you that it is connected. So once it's connected I'm going to show you three apps here. I'm going to connect first via the Bluetooth and the code is usually 1234 or 0000. So once I do that it's connected via the Bluetooth and here is Torque Light and you'll notice Torque Light has a bunch of customizable dashboards that you can put on including the re revolutions and here is the dash commander or dash command so this is another app that uh, shows you sort of the real time of the diagnostic readings off of the bluetooth so what I have here is the Nexus 7 so I'm connected via the Nexus 7 uh, the next thing you see here is the piston app so these were the top three apps that I saw on the play app store and I installed each one of these. So both of the two of these actually have the readings for the fault codes. So you'll notice when I refresh here in this Pistum app, I don't have any fault code, so it's going to show that. So both the Torque Light, which costs nothing, and this app has the fault codes. So uh, just wanted to do a very brief, short video on this, and I hope this helps. And it was $13 on Amazon, and check out my description for the link. And thank you for watching.